guys. Today we're going to be talking about water catchment systems and how to make the water potable, so in other words, how to make it drinkable and the things you got to do to uh, make sure that the rainwater that you collect is absolutely the purest possible. You're looking right here at a 10,500 gallon tank with a with a cloth cover over the top to keep the to keep the uh, leaves and whatnot out of it. Um, come on with me and I'll show you how. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we've got these ropes that hold the, the cover down. I'll take some of these off here. So we can open it up and take a look and see what's inside. Uh, maybe, okay, yeah, I think that'll work a little bit. Nope, well, looks like it's kind of time to clean the tank. Now, oh, steam is coming in. I don't know if we can see. Yeah, all right. So, what we got in this tank is. Oh. So, when you look in a water tank, you can always see that that there's always going to be a little bit of things that are kind of yucky. And it, it doesn't matter whether it's city water or whether it's whatever water tank you're using, you're always going to have a little bit of an issue with, with uh, you know, a little bit of uh, algae or something growing inside the tank. Some old water tanks have stuff that's just like inches thick on it that's growing. But that stuff sloughs off. It doesn't matter whether you've got a tank like this or a poly tank or a concrete tank, you're going to get this stuff growing on the inside of it. There's just nothing you can do about it. You can go in and clean it once in a while and uh, kind of like cleaning the pool. We put a little bit of bleach in this thing, keep it uh, sterilized pretty much. But if we can look down, I don't know if we can do this without the camera lens steaming up. It's pretty humid out here. cover wrap back enough. If we look in here we can see that there's a that there's a pickup hose and a floaty on the end of it. What this does is it makes sure that the water is always picked up at the top of the tank because any kind of any kind of garbage or leaves or anything that makes it off the roof and into the catchment tank, you want to make sure that that sinks down to the bottom and is not getting picked up into your into your pump system. And it's got a little rope that kind of holds it up to the top, so that it, it can only go so far down, and then there's a few, maybe a foot or so left of water in there that that never gets touched. Over here on this side we have what is, what is known as an overflow. And what it does, what this overflow does, is when the water gets up to a certain point, when the water gets up to a certain point, right up to this level here, when the water gets up to this level, it'll use a siphon action, go around, go down here, and then out the pipe here. We haven't had much of a problem getting it overloaded because we've got this tiny little roof on the well shed that's been catching our water so far. Over here, I use a just a bag that uh, allows the, the water to come into the tank. This catches most of the leaves and stuff that may come into the tank. And it comes off of, the, off of this tiny little roof right now. We'll probably get this set up to where it comes off the top of the house roof here in the next little while. Inside of, a, inside of the well shed, we have our standard standard 30 gallon tank. We've got a one horse pump motor with a pressure switch in it. And it comes up and comes over and goes through two filters. This one here, this car, this filter here carries a a uh, carbon filter and the carbon filter is like this here it's a carbon wrap filter they last about two three months depends on how much uh, 
solids you're having to filter out of it when they get full your water pressure starts going down and the second one is a basically a fiber filter that is a five micron filter that then filters out uh, a lot of the biologicals, not all of them, but if there's anything that gets through, it comes over to this little unit right here, which is a large ultraviolet sterilizer. And it's got it's got the copper fitting between between the uh, top of the sterilizer and the PVC pipe over here. That's because the ultraviolet light will chew up the plastic. So you want to make sure that you've got a little piece of a uh, piece of copper at both ends that's not straight through. So the light has to actually has to bend around to get to it. And then that basically goes and supplies our, our uh, water heater and our shower and whatnot washing machine. It's a pretty simple system, not too complicated. The critical part, as I mentioned before, is having your your pickup feed from the water tank needs to be to the top part of the water because particulates and solid matter and leaves and trash like that always sink to the bottom of the water. And if you're picking up your water off the bottom of the tank, these filters are going to plug up really quick and you're not going to have a very good time. So that's about pretty much the basics of a, of a water filter system, or a water system, in a sense. Um, if you found it useful, like, subscribe. Got any comments to make? Leave them below. Love to hear what you got to think or what you got to say.